Over the years, scientists and researchers have uncovered some mysterious items. Some of these have helped us to better understand our Earth's history and what was going on in these areas hundreds or thousands of years ago. So today, we take a look at these five recent discoveries. One place where many mysterious discoveries have been made is that of our oceans. Researchers have come forward and said that over 71% of the Earth's surface is covered by oceans, and that inside every ocean researchers have made some fascinating discoveries. One of these comes in the form of a mysterious looking object. The object in question looks very similar to that of a giant knife. However, when you try to find out more information about the photograph you come up empty handed. The image has been shared around social media sites for years and it usually promotes the idea that giants once roamed our planet. The source of the original image can't be tracked down, and over the last few years several different explanations have been put forward. Some have suggested that the image is in fact genuine, and could be exactly what it looks like. Going back a few weeks ago we talked about the giant samurai sword that was built by a master craftsman. This sword measured over 3.8 meters or 12.4 feet, and the story goes that only a giant and great warrior was able to wield the weapon. In reality, researchers believe the craftsmen most likely built it to show off their ability, and to bring in customers to buy more of their creations. Another theory that's been put forward for the object is that it's part of a shipwreck, and just so happens to be in the shape of a giant knife. Whereas others have suggested the image is a hoax, and was created to get people to click on links in order to find out the truth. Another idea is that this object is that of a film prop, and it somehow managed to find its way into the ocean. It's important to bear in mind that our oceans have barely been explored. Researchers have said that 95% of the ocean is still unexplored, and there's likely to be hidden treasures hidden in the depths waiting to be discovered. So far scientists have discovered over 242,500 marine species. However, it's been estimated that every year over 2,000 new oceanic species are discovered. As of today, the mysterious image is yet to be explained, with a large amount of people believing more out their theories in regards to the origin of the object. So my question to you guys is what do you make of this image? Do you think it's real or a hoax? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. The Mars Opportunity rover was the second of the two rovers launched in 2003, both of which were to land on the Martian surface and aid in various missions. One of the main goals of the Opportunity rover was to search the planet for signs of past life. The Opportunity rover made a number of incredible discoveries while exploring the Red Planet. One of these was that Mars at one point had wet areas for extended periods of time, and that these would have been able to support life. Sadly, the Opportunity rover stopped communicating with Earth when a large dust storm hit. The rover's final transmission to NASA was that it was running low on battery, and that a storm was approaching. No signal from the rover has been picked up on since the 10th of June 2018. NASA have said the rover most likely experienced a low power fault, and a mission clock fault. Project manager John Caller said the following, this is a hard day. Even though it's a machine, we're still saying goodbye. It's very hard, but we had to do it. We came to that point. A NASA press conference was held on Wednesday, the 13th of February, 2019 in California. This was to report on the end of the rover's mission. After the rover announced it was on its last leg, many came forward in support of the robot, praising how much it had achieved. One thing the Mars Opportunity rover did that caught the attention of some people was capture a mysterious image. This photo was captured by the robot on the 2nd of January 2018, and although it looks like any other photograph captured on the Martian surface, NASA left a note next to this image that said more study is needed. It turned out the image needed further investigation because the rock in the photo required further study in order to help to better understand whether the shapes are biological or geological. This excited many people as they thought it could lead on to more discoveries. 
However, as of today, no more information has come out about the finding. Opportunity also made another interesting discovery when it made its way into a deep crater known as Endurance. For those unaware, Endurance is an impact crater that was visited by the Opportunity rover from the 2nd of May until December in 2004. This was one of the rover's toughest missions, as it had to make its way through rough terrain, steep inclines and in general bad weather. While exploring the impact crater, the rover was able to discover signs that water had once been on the planet. The cliff layers showed researchers that at one point in time the water had been above certain points in the cliff. This proved to researchers that at certain times large amounts of waters did exist on the planet. Interestingly, this crater showed mission scientists that liquid water didn't just exist on the surface once, but that it was here several times during a long period of time. The researchers described the water as flood-like, and that it dried up every so often. The researchers further said they can't rule out that life could have once been present here at some point in the past. Over the years, archaeologists have made some incredible discoveries, and one of the great things about exploring our planet is you never know what you're going to find. Every year, archaeologists are finding incredible ancient artifacts, some of which they struggle to explain. With their great ability of research and knowledge, these people are crucial for helping us to understand the past. Even those with the highest skills and knowledge sometimes find themselves to be confused about certain things on our planet. The Earth might be tiny compared to other planets, but it sure has a lot of variety. One mysterious structure that has caused many to ask questions is that of the Pyramids of Bosnia. The Pyramids of Giza are truly impressive, but the Pyramids of Bosnia are just as impressive. One of the local archaeologists in Bosnia made a claim related to the Bosnian Pyramids. He believes they're at least 30,000 years old, which is 20,000 years earlier than what our history has taught us. The Bosnian Pyramids are a massive complex of five different pyramids. The entire complex can be found near a small town, 30 kilometers northwest of Sarajevo in Bosnia. Some of the scientists refuse to even look at them and claim the archaeologist is just trying to secure funding and get more tourists in Bosnia. Of course, not all the scientists refuse to know more. Carbon dating of organic fossils have been found inside the chambers that have been excavated. The finds suggest the pyramids are approximately 30,000 years old. This is surprising considering we have been taught the ancient structures were not nearly as old as this. Just like the Egyptian pyramids, the Pyramids of Bosnia also orients to the Cosmic North. What makes the Pyramids of Bosnia so special is the fact they are also 15 times more accurate than the Pyramids of Giza. The top of each pyramid, dragon, sun and the moon also forms a flawlessly perfect triangle. Another interesting discovery is that researchers have detected and measured an energy beam that gets released from the top of the Bosnian Pyramid. What surprised the researchers as well is that when the distance increases, the energy beam does not become weaker. Incredibly, it actually becomes stronger and more intense. Tests have been carried out and it is reported the energy beam has a diameter of 5 to 9 meters. Some archaeologists have called the pyramid an energy machine. The underground chamber of the pyramid seems to feature ionization levels that are much higher than the outside. Some even suggest the pyramid and the energy it gives off have different healing properties. Ceres is the largest object in the asteroid belt that can be found between Mars and Jupiter. It has a diameter of 940 kilometers or 587 miles. It's known as both a dwarf planet and an asteroid, and one thing that scientists have picked up on is that it's so much bigger and so different from other rocky objects out there. Scientists classified it as a dwarf planet in 2006, and it got its name from the Roman goddess of corn and harvest. Going back a while ago, scientists put forward the idea that Ceres may have an ocean and possibly an atmosphere. The recent arrival of a probe has unlocked some of the dwarf planet secrets. NASA's Dawn spacecraft was able to send us back some incredible images. These were high resolution and even gave researchers a look at its famous bright spots. It turns out these anomalies are salt deposits which can be found in the Octa crater of Ceres. NASA have recently discovered a giant ice volcano on the surface of Ceres, 
and they say it's unlike anything they've seen before. Ahuna Mons is the largest ice volcano on the dwarf planet, and it's known as a cryovolcano. A cryovolcano which is also known as an ice volcano is a type of volcano that erupts water or methane instead of molten rock. After looking at the data, the NASA scientists have said this volcano was created by thick mud. This mud would have once been at the crater of the dwarf planet, but over the years it rose to the surface and then froze. The researchers have said the ice volcano is no longer active, but that there is evidence of fairly recent geological activity. The land nearby shows vertical streams, which showed that something happened here not too long ago, which shows some kind of activity recently happened here. The team was surprised though its series is quite small, and to have a volcano like this the body needs to be creating heat. Normally rocky bodies don't have any kind of activity on them, but Ceres has enough heat to produce a relatively recent ice volcano. One of the researchers at NASA said the following, There is nothing quite like Ahuna Mons in the solar system. It's the first cryovolcano we've seen that's produced by O'Brien and Clay Mix. NASA have still shown interest in Ceres salt deposits, saying that the salt deposits give a huge clue about the current activity, while the data and images will help scientists to find answers to how they got there. The results of the high resolution images have been better than hoped for, as they show the rich details of the planet, offering scientists along with others a glimpse of the beauty of Ceres. Many people think space is the last unexplored frontier, however there are many places scattered across our planets that haven't been explored. Explorers and mappers of the last few hundred years have worked hard to find nearly every piece of land and untouched area from around the world. Further advancements in modern technology such as satellite imaging and other innovations have also provided human beings with the means to almost every place on Earth with accurate precision. In this regard it's no surprise then that many people are under the misconception that every place on the planet has been explored in detail. This seems to be far from the case. Some of the places that are shrouded in mystery is Antarctica and the Arctic. It's no surprise to anyone that the vast amount of air in the most desolate frozen desert of the world is Antarctica. Of course this does not mean that humans have not yet tried colonising the icy desert. The main issue for why this hasn't been accomplished today is merely due to cost. It's impossible to farm or live in such a region, and all food and fuel requires expensive imports that are nearly impossible to receive during the winter. Recently, a mini submarine known as Boaty McBoatface has returned to the surface from its first expedition. Researchers and scientists have said it could change the way they look at the deep ocean. The robot submarine was given this name by the public after it was put down to a vote. Officials weren't expecting this and decided to change the name to RRS Sir David Attenborough. However, people weren't happy and started to protest on social media. After this, officials decided the name Boaty McBoatface could stay. On its recent mission, it dove to a depth of over 4,000 meters or 13,100 feet. This was in the Orkney Passage, a region found close to the Antarctic Peninsula. Its data showed scientists that the Antarctic sea temperatures are rising. The data was then published in the scientific journal proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences. The warmer water has been a major contributor to the rising sea levels. One of the researchers said the following. The data from Boaty McBoat's face gave us a completely new way of looking at the deep ocean. The path taken by Boaty created a view of the turbulence near the sea floor. Although this doesn't sound like a big deal, rising sea temperatures will affect the whole planet. Some researchers have said it will cost billions of pounds in damage, and it's something that's going to happen. So what do you make of these 5 recent discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below, and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.